Mike Stewart here with Test Products International. What we have here is the 725A combustible gas leak detector. Okay, this will detect uh, all your combustible gases, including natural gas, uh, propane, butane, uh, gasoline, diesel, kerosene, to name a few. Now, I've just turned this on. It takes about a 30-second uh, time period to warm up the sensor. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, just uh, this gas valve here. There's a test port for your supply of fuel, and I'm just going to open that up just a bit to simulate the leak. Okay, so there it is. We're ready to go. So there's indicating LED lights on here and indicates the size of the leak in parts per million. Okay, so the first level one would be, uh, you know, under 500 ppm, and then level two would be 1,000, uh, 3,000, and then 5,000 ppm. So I'm just going to move this over towards my suspected leak. And there it goes. Very small leak. So we're actually uh, under 500 uh, parts per million. Now with this leak detector, when you detect a leak, you can press the button and zero it out. So now it is only going to detect a higher um, uh, combustible gases, a higher sample of uh, parts per million. So again, go over to my suspected leak, and there it goes. So obviously the, uh, the higher it is, that's where the source of the leak is going to be. Zero it out. That's the 725A. So we're going to turn this unit off. And switch over to the 725L. Very similar, except now we've added this 8-inch in, eight extension on here. And this is convenient to reach those hard-to-reach places. You know, you could be in a gas connection in a boiler or furnace or wherever. Um, again, it takes about 30 seconds to warm up. No LCD displays on here, so just the, the uh, visual indication and audible indication. And of course the on-off button with the, that also zeroes it. So once it's ready, you're going to get the flashing green light. Again, go over to your gas sample. And there it is, it's beeping. Okay, again, you can zero it out just by pressing the button. And of course now it's going to only get the, the higher leak. Okay. Now, when it comes to new installations, um, pipe dope can be an issue. Okay. So I'm just going to re, re double click this and get it to a, a zero. So fresh pipe dope will set off electronic leak detectors. So what I do is I just hold it up above my pipe dope, zero it out. So I've compensated for that pipe dope. Now I can go check my fresh connections, and of course, if it's a higher uh, concentration, there's obviously going to be a leak there. Double click it, and now I've uh, re zeroed it again, so now it's going to detect. Very simple um, 725L combustible leak detector. The next one I have here is the 719. Now this is a little different, it's got a thumb wheel on the side. And again, you want it to warm up. So give it 30 seconds, minute long, depends on how much the ambient temperature. It's got a mute button so you don't have to listen to it. Uh, anyways, give it some time. You got the flexible uh, gooseneck on here which is great for uh, you know reaching behind a pipe where you wouldn't be able to uh, uh, see it if you were using soap. So that's where an electronic leak detector uh, surpasses the, the soap method. Anyways, um, again, I'm going to go with my sample here. And there it is. And then I have my tune-out button on it. So as I get closer to the, high, the higher concentration, it's going to go off and tune it out. And again, working with fresh pipe dope, you could do the same thing. Hold it above the jar of your pipe dope, zero it out, and um, continue looking for your leaks.
That's the 719 combustible leak detector. Again, we'll do all your combustible gases. The next one is the 720B. You can slide it on there. Um, again, it's going to take 30 seconds, a minute, even longer on colder weather. You know, if this thing's been sitting out in the truck, and today it's about minus 15 this morning. Um, it's got a thumb wheel instead of on the side. It's got on the front. So there you can tune it out. So again, you want to get the steady tick rate. Go towards your gas sample. And there it is. Tune it out. And again higher PPM, it's going to check the uh, tune it out. And of course the highest PPM is going to be the source of your leak. Okay. Again, flexible gooseneck, hard to reach spots behind uh, this coupling, or it could be a, a union that's very common place for a leak, or it could be a shutoff valve. There's the uh, TPI 720B. Here is the uh, 721, again does all the combustible gases, but now we've got into a, uh, an LCD display. Okay, This one will actually display how big the leak is. Okay, It will also do LEL, okay? lower explosive limit, so it will display in percent LEL. So again I'm waiting for my 30 second countdown to, to be done. Again, could take longer if you're if it's the ambient temperature is really cold. Um, good set of batteries helps too. Um, it's got the adjustable tick rate on the side, so you can you can tune it. And here we have a backlit display. Okay, so right now I have it reading in parts per million, but with the push of a couple buttons here, you can actually get it into. Um, Uh, real, so in parts per million, uh, percent LEL, or stepped. So again, uh, you know, these steps would be, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, five, and they're going to represent different levels of leak. So, uh, you know, one would be up 500, then up to 1,000, 3,000, 5,000, up to 10,000 parts per million. Okay? So, there's your alarm, so I've actually set it at a thousand ppm. You can adjust it. There, there's a thousand. So now I have it stepped. And back to real. So there's the parts per million. Turn the backlight, make sure we can see this. And again, adjustable gooseneck and I'm going to go near my leak source and there it is so I had uh, you know 280 parts per million of combustible gases and then right there whoop now you can see on the end of the wand it's lit up to red so it surpassed my set point of a thousand ppm again there's your tune on the side so if you get to a you know where there's natural or combustible gases and the sensor's going off, I can tune that out and then move it around. And of course the uh, strongest uh, signal I'm getting is where my leak's going to be. So right now that gas valve, just open up a little bit, is a very small leak. And leaks like this are, uh, you know, uh, very small leaks are really hard to find. You know, it's when it comes to using uh, soap. You know, uh, soap is, I, I use soap in, in conjunction with my combustible leak detector because um, not always I can have a, um, where I can use soap where I can see it. It could be on the other side of the pipe and it's not always this visible. It could be, uh, you know, in the ceiling of a basement. It could be, uh, you know, uh, where it's coming out of the wall for a, a gas stove. So this is where the electronic leak detector is more dominant. 
So that's the 721 combustible gas leak detector. Here is the 775 combustible plus, okay? And the plus means it actually will measure CO, carbon monoxide, okay? So it's got the flexible wand, and this is your combustible leak sensor. But if you turn the unit back over, right at the top here, that is where your CO sensor is, okay? So it's going to be measuring carbon monoxide at the same time. So you're uh, basically multitasking. Now with this unit, because it has a CO sensor in it, you have to turn it on outside in fresh air. You want to zero that CO sensor at zero parts per million, okay? So again, this one is giving us um, uh, an LCD display, and I'm just gonna turn on the backlight, make sure you can see that good. And it shows right here, CO in parts per million. So this will actually measure up to uh, 2,000 parts per million. Again, this is just for indoor air quality. It's not for inside the flue of the appliance. So uh, down here, you got your leak, okay? So your leak sensor will go all the way up to 50,000 parts per million, but it's in stages, so it's gonna go, uh, you know, one, two, three, and indicate what the level is. So if it's uh, indicating uh, number one, it's the leak's gonna be between 1,000 and, uh, or 100 and 500 parts per million. If it goes up to number two, it's gonna be up to, uh, you know, 1,000 PPM, and then three is 1,500 and so forth. Okay, so you can also set alarms for this. So uh, we've preset this CO alarm from the factory at 30 parts per million, so it's going to give you an audible and a visual alarm if your ambient CO rises above that. And in a residential, residential application, you know, 30 ppm is, uh, is a great place to have it at, um, but it's going to display all the way down to one part per million. So again, gooseneck. I'm going to go over to... Uh, my leak, I got uh, my, my thumb wheel on the side. So I'm gonna just go over to my leak here. And of course, there it is, going off. Oh, that's a big leak. So I'm at uh, five, so that indicates that leak is between 2,000 and 2,500 uh, parts per million. And again, if you wanna look around for the leak there, you got it there, and then you have the tune button on the side. So you can actually tune it out. And of course, when it goes to higher PPM, it's gonna start beeping again. So the 775, you know, you're killing two birds with one stone. You're measuring your combustible gas leak detector and it's, it's never a bad thing to measure CO. Last thing, obviously simulate a leak here. Tighten this up. Using the 720B, get to my steady state, and I'm going to check for my leak. And I've tightened it up, so of course there's no leak right there. Safe to put the cover back on. Thanks for joining me in the basement.